Wave. Hey everyone, this is Annie Edwards here for a special TV Rev report about smart TV data. Smart TV data made headlines last week in the New York Times, so we decided to bring in Alan Wolk, lead TV Rev analyst. He worked on both of the TV Rev ACR reports and he's an expert in the field. So Alan, I'm wondering, what are your takeaways from the New York Times Smart TV data article? Well, I think there are a couple of takeaways from that. One is that it's really important to have very clear standards on, on, on data collection. In other words, when the, FCC, when the FTC ruled in, 20, in February 2017 on a case with Vizio, they laid out a bunch of very clear standards that people needed to be upfront about the fact that they were collecting data, that they were collecting it from marketers, when, why, and how, and just make that really obvious for people to see and, and to find, and that not everyone is doing that right now, which is a problem. It's really a problem, I think, because I don't know that consumers would care. In other words, I think people look at their TV viewing as something that's much less private than their internet history, and they assume that people are checking their internet history and know everything about them, know all their credit card history, so if you ask them, do you care if anybody knows that you watched The Tonight Show last night, they probably don't, especially even if it's a marketer, they're like, great, I might see better commercials, that's okay. But So I don't think that being honest will have any negative repercussion. So that's number one. In terms of the article itself, I was surprised that it didn't do a little bit more market sizing in it. In other words, um, which, is, which we had, to our surprise, found was surprising to other people in the industry, was who the leaders are. In other words, the fact that Samsung has close to 40% of the market, Vizio has close to 30% of the market, and then other players like LG and Sony and Panasonic all have less than 10%. That comes as a surprise to people who still might remember what the industry looked like back in the 1990s or 2000s. And it's changed tremendously. Um, the article didn't mention Samsung at all, which was surprising. Um, right. Samsung had a deal with Grace Note to collect the data, although it wasn't being sold to anybody. So that's that's sort of notable in that Samsung was collecting all the data off of the smart TVs, but they weren't doing anything with it beyond using it for their own purposes. And rumor has it that that's not happening anymore anyway, that they and Grace Note might be on the outs. So... We'll see how that plays out. Um, but that those are really sort of my, my biggest takeaways about what was going, going on in that article and about ACR in general. And just the overall sense that, you know, which is sort of outside of the article, that it's really catching on a lot more that we saw during the upfronts, a lot of networks referencing and a lot of networks using ACR data for everything from dynamic, you know, from ad insertion of addressable advertising to multi-touch attribution. So it's really starting to become a thing, and it, it, you get much fewer funny looks than you did a year ago when you say ACR. And what's next for the industry following in the steps of this article? Uh, I think that we'll start seeing, you know, strict, stricter terms of service and stricter adherence to terms of service, and I think that we'll probably see more interest in it. I mean, you know, if nothing else, it, it, I think people who are not aware of ACR are more aware of it now and might be interested in, in the various things you can do with the data, which, you know, the article had talked about retargeting, but it's also being used for measurement and for something called multi-touch attribution, which is showing how effective ads are. That's something a bunch of the networks are doing now. So I think we're going to start seeing more, more adoption of it and just more interest in what it is, who's sent, selling it, and all that kind of stuff. Fascinating. Well, thank you for joining us, Alan Walk. This is TV Rev's special report on smart TV data. Over and out. Over and out.